A rocket won't fly unless somebody lights the fuse. This is a quote from the novel Rocket Boys, written by Homer Hickam, an American author, veteran, and former NASA engineer. Homer Hickam was born on February 19, 1943, and grew up in Colwood, West Virginia. Colwood was a very small mining town where everyone's father worked in the mine, just as their own fathers had done before them. Homer's father was a miner. He also lived with his mother and older brother. As with most of the teenage boys in Colwood, Homer was destined to work in the mines just as his father had. That was until he was 14 and watched the first man-made satellite fly above him in the sky. After that, he became fascinated by rockets. He and his friends decided to start building and launching them for fun. They called themselves the Big Creek Missile Agency after their high school, Big Creek. They made many attempts that usually ended up in flames before realizing that they needed to do more research into the science behind how rockets worked. At school, Homer started to pay more attention and ask questions to learn more about how rockets would work. He and his friends worked hard for many months to calculate and determine the perfect ratios needed to fly their rockets. At their last BCMA launch, over a hundred local miners and their families turned up to watch their rocket fly almost four miles into the sky. Homer went on to represent the Big Creek Missile Agency at the 1960 National Science Fair, where they won gold. After high school, Homer went on to complete an engineering degree before joining the Army. Eventually he joined NASA, where he remained until his retirement in 1998. Homer has also written more than 10 novels, one of which is Rocket Boys, a memoir about his life in Colwood and starting the Big Creek Missile Agency. It was even turned into a movie that you may have seen, called October Sky. Homer has said he's lost count of the engineers who've told him that they wouldn't have become engineers had they not seen the movie or read the book. This is why Homer's story should continue to be told to inspire others to follow their dreams. Homer Hickam's story could be included in many school subjects. Physics and math are obvious, where students could use equations to calculate velocity and acceleration of rockets, similar to what Homer did. However, the story Rocket Boys could also be used to do a novel and film study in English. I think grade 11 physics would be the best fit because rockets fit into kinematics very well, since they are a form of technology that can be used to demonstrate projectile motion. Students would be at the age where they could make their own simplified versions as a project, as well as do calculations based on their motion. Homer's story could also be used as an example of a career involving physics, which is another part of the physics curriculum. This is also important because grade 11s are at the age where they'll be considering what to do after high school, and Homer's story is a great example of one route they could take. Homer wrote in Rocket Boys, a rocket won't fly unless somebody lights the fuse, which is a great comparison for our students. Every student has a fuse and it's our job as teachers to find out how to light it. Using Homer's story to inspire students could be just one way to do this.